The most flexible joint in the body, our shoulders carry quite a load. Being able to twist and move the arms into many positions makes them vulnerable to injury. One of the most misunderstood is a shoulder separation. Separated shoulder is interesting because I think people get it very confused with dislocation of the shoulder or other injuries of the shoulder. A typical dislocated shoulder refers to an injury where the upper arm bone slips out of its socket. Separation is a separate issue. What happens is the ligaments that actually help hold your shoulder up that are attached to the clavicle become either stretched or torn. Visually, patients see their clavicle pointing upward when in fact the bone isn't sticking up, their shoulder is drooping down. The treatment is really predicated on how much dysfunction there is and how much pain there is with your shoulder being in a droopy position. Minor strains are treated with ice, anti-inflammatories, and rest. Severe tears may need surgery. We have to do something to try and improve stability again, pulling the shoulder back into the position that Mother Nature intended. Using a tendon graft, surgeons reinforce the damaged ligaments, creating a scaffold for the body to repair itself. Just like it occurs in ACL reconstruction in the knee, your body slowly but steadily actually dissolves the old cells that were in the old material and deposits new cells in their place. An uplifting treatment, patients with a severe separation can return to normal function pain-free. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.